Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're doing our long readings for Pisces in Aquarius season. Hello, my Pisces. Now, you know that when I'm doing the longer readings and for the seasons, I'm using more cards. I'm using my Angel Tarot cards, Radley Valentine, for the main message. I will then ask for clarification from John Holland, Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. We then ask for words of advice from Osha Zentero. I finish up with Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. And then I really finish up asking what crystal or energy might be good for my Pisces from Emily Anderson's crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Okay. Um, I'm an intuitive channeler. Open myself to higher power. Whatever I, just whatever I need to say, it just comes out. Anyway, I have posted the overview for Aquarius season, and um, there's lots of stuff going on, so please take a look at it. We have now three cards are face down. All of them are reversed. Reversed cards, to me, have stronger energy. Let's see what we have for my Pisces in Aquarius season. Okay, first card is... This is a time. I mean, I've been getting this. I, You know, okay, so my Pisces. This is a time to get back to work. This is a time for work to come back to you. Now, if you have been working, be prepared to work a little bit more. Be prepared to work at a higher level. Be prepared to work at the level of, you know, of your competency. Okay, be prepared for some promotions because this is about getting back to work. And, you know, and what I've been seeing as I've been doing my readings, a lot of times the night of earth has been coming up. So, you know, this is, but this is going to be for you now. Now, nights, the underlying energy is fire. Okay, that's our Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, passionate burning. Earth energy is our Capricorn, our Taurus. It's also our Virgo, very solid, substantial. You know, this is tangible type of energy money energy, career energy. This is, you know, so now, I don't know, did you just, if for those that just started a job, be prepared for it to take off that much more so for you. Um, this is, re to me, I'm feeling like there's an intensity in your work ethic, in your work commitment. Now, remember, your work could be your career also, or it could be a passion. It could be if you started a restaurant, if you started a store. It's just, I just feel like there's the focus. This is the focus is your work. And, it's, and it does feel like it's the work you already have. Now, if you're looking, definitely, definitely look because this is, it's coming, okay? But this is, this feels like it's what you're already doing and your focus. This Aquarius energy is all about your work, but it's also about putting away money. I feel like this is about building your savings account. This is about building your your funds, your your fun money type of thing. This is about, I feel like this is putting away money also. Okay? So this is going to be a good time for that. Remember to, and I'll just give my little thing with about air energy. Remember, thoughts, words, positive. And because this is air energy, because we are in an, an age of Aquarius, put it out there, what you want. Okay? But total focus on your work, more so than a lot of the other signs that I was even. This is totally, you want this to build, you want, again, it's because you want to make, because you want to invest in your career, I feel investments, I feel putting away money, okay? So, loyal, dedicated, honorable, kind, time to buckle down and get things done, honor your commitment, a guardian angel. Your next card reversed again, the queen of earth, the queen of earth, whether you be male or female. And the, all of this is whether you're, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, okay, with any of these court cards. The queen, now their underlying energy is emotion, okay, but this is again, so that would be your water energy. Now, but this is again, that earth energy. There's a practicality with this emotion. So it's, it, it's again, I feel like this is, I don't know, are you buying a new home? This is very much putting together your home, nesting. This is, this is again, putting away your money, possibly for that down payment, 
possibly so that you can expand your property, expand your business. There's a practicality with this also, but this is totally focused on your, your, your I, I want to say it's your career per se, but it's not so much that it's your career because the career is just a piece of your puzzle because this is also about your life too, okay? It's like you're going to get a lot of your satisfaction in your life because of what you're doing with your career, with your work, okay? So, thoughtful, creative, warm, sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So, it is telling you a little bit here that it's kind of like all work and no play. So, you know, you know, that's not good. You have to have a little bit of the play, especially you, my Pisces. You like to play. You do. I know you can get very focused and almost to an obsession about one thing, too. But you have to, you do have to let your, you know, you have to do that right brain, left brain. You know, what is it when you're, Right brain is really focused. You need your left brain to kind of unfocus it a little bit so you can actually focus back. Anyway, last card here, reversed. The world. Wow. Wow. Archangel Michael. Okay. Michael is, you know, the protector. He is the warrior. He, she is the warrior. Um, the one that will get you through. But yet at the same time, this is, and remember too, Aquarius season is the season leading up to your season, okay? So we have a lot of a lot of this Aquarius energy um, that's opening things up. There, you know, um, Aquarius loves liberty and it's leading, it's kind of finishing up the year for you. So there's things you want to wrap up. It's like you want to get things done because things are going to be even bigger for you. Now, because, you know, um, there is some talk that, we're, that we have left or we have been leaving the season of that, you know, we've been 2,000 years in the season of Pisces or in Pisces, and now we're going into this Aquarius. So things, th things just opening up in the world is like bigger things coming, bigger things coming for you, my Pisces. So this is kind of that, like, get it prepared, get it ready, um, because I feel, too, when your season opens up, bigger things are coming, and now we have the world, okay? Now, it does talk about a job, though. It does talk about your work. So, Archangel Michael, a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. We have a 21, so we have a 2, which is kind of those decisions, and we have a 1, which is kind of that new beginning, too, okay? But, it, you know, this is... this. Very focused on your money, very focused on your work, wanting to put money away, possibly getting that new home. Get, you know, if you're not working, get, get your resumes out because this is definitely about things opening, things opening up for you in the job market too, if that's what you've been wanting to do. The world, I mean, the world is, is like one of the, is the best, is pretty much one of the best cards you can get. Archangel Michael, write his name down. Ask for Michael's help during this uh during this Aquarius season, when and if and when you need that. Remember, you know, higher power, your guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is to you. If you pray, if you ask, if you're putting it out to the universe, they're saying, okay, we'll send Michael to help you. Okay? Because the archangels do not come in all my readings. So I want you to know that. Here we go. So John Holland, and we're going to see clarifying. This is awesome. This is your main reading. This is an awesome main reading. Here we go. These are now to clarify. Here we go. I don't know if they're reversed or not. We'll see. Discontentment and boredom. Discontentment and boredom. So we have four. Four has, has a lot of stability to it. But maybe things are too static for you. Maybe things haven't been moving fast enough for you. So you'd want to watch out a little bit about that. And maybe it's so much that you're so focused on, like I said, you need to have that play. You need to play a little bit more, my Pisces. Now, I know you're focused on getting, you know, I don't know what it is about getting the house, getting the, you know, getting this. It's like, okay, when I get this, I can play. Well, you need to enjoy your journey now. You need to have some play time now, too. Okay? Okay. Here we go. Truth. Truth. Okay, I like that. That's 20. So 20, you know, we can have that two, that two choices, decisions. 
looking at life re and with reality. Now there's a lot of Libra energy with this, you know, there's a lot of balance with this. It's kind of like, you know, you know, what are you doing? Where are you going? What do you really want out of life? Um, you know, one of the things too is that February 1st, we have Mercury retrograde and it will lead, I think it leads up to, I think it's February 1st to February 20th, so two days into your season. And that's a lot of times when that is happening. There's a lot of universal truth happening, a lot of universal karma being balanced, okay? So it looks like it might be affecting you a little bit more. So remember, it's always good. Remember, this is what I'm always telling you. What you're putting out, you know, many times comes back. So keep it positive, keep it light, keep it kind, keep it, you know, keep it with love type of thing. But... There's also, there's also a clarity here. It's, it's almost like my Pisces. Now, that, remember, this has some Libra energy to it, too, and they're, they're balanced, but, um, and that's air energy. But there's almost, there's some clarity. Um, while you've been doing all this work, um, has the other people in your life been doing the same? You know, are you working together with this? There's some clarity. So with the clarity, you may find that while this is very, you know, this is all good, positive, take care of yourself, balance your life, you know, because remember this also had that work-life balance. I was talking about work-life balance here. Here we have balance again. There's also seeing some of the reality of life too, okay? That's okay because it's also holding other people accountable. It might even be holding yourself accountable, but it's also holding another there's also another party that you're holding accountable. That doesn't, that's not always negative. You know, sometimes we can hurt people by doing too much for them. Okay, does that make sense? Sometimes we need them to step up to the plate. And it's not so much that we need to, but they need to. They need that for their own self-esteem. Okay, just whoever needed that one, wow. Here we go, next last card of this, ah. That one is reversed. We have that two energy, cha you know, changes. So this is, again, one of those mental, this is mental conflict. So here we have mental conflict. This is, you know, maybe thinking a little bit too much. This is the thing, too, that you need to be careful of. My Pisces is sometimes, you know, remember, you've got the two fishies, and there's that cord between the two. So there's a really strong connection. Many times they're swimming together, but many times that one little fish likes to go into the darker places. And that's when you start thinking too much. That's when you stop. That's when you stop having faith. That's when you stop reaching out to your higher power. Okay. Sometimes you know. Some you know. Faith is some is many times believing when there's no real proof. I've had things happen. Okay. I'm just going to have faith, and you know what? The proof came afterwards. So that can create a. But that can create a lot of mental conflict. Sometimes you go into that darker part. You need to, you know, again, work to keep those up. Sometimes you have to do it, though. Sometimes you have to. You have to stay there for a little bit of time. But remember, call upon Archangel Michael. We'll help you through those times. Okay? Okay. Let's go on now. Osha Zen Tarot. Words of advice. This we go. Yeah, this this one, the clarity on this is, I mean, the... The, the, well, this is clarifying, yes. This is kind of giving, you know, kind of helping us to understand. This is also seeing deeper. This, is, this isn't this is just seeing at the top. And also, you know, and you may come to a point that while this is all really positive and stuff, it's kind of like, you know, why am I here? What am I doing? And again, that goes with this, okay? Okay, here we go. Words of advice. One two, and three. Okay, now I'm not sure which one is reversed on these. Here we go. Morality. Ooh, morality. So, rigidity. 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 Being, okay, so this is kind of, you know, you're so focused on this piece up here, you know, that, like I said, you're forgetting to play. You're forgetting to have a little bit of fun. And this can be very, and, and that makes sense then with, with this, it can be very narrow. It can make a very narrow vision for you. 
And when somebody's laughing, somebody, you know, you're like, stop the laughter. Not, you're not necessarily saying that, but you're feeling that. So there is some rigidity. So the word of advice here is to avoid you know, or, or be aware of it when it comes. Now, my Pisces, I know we don't want to, I love you, my Pisces. I don't want to, you know, give you any critiquing or, you know, criticism. Just, you're going to, you know, just stop. Just be aware when your thoughts get into, you know, this mental conflict, you know, expand a little bit if you're able to. Be aware. Just be aware. How's that? Okay. Next card. Conditioning. Conditioning. Now, this is always a fun card. Now, I, I, and I mean that kind of sarcastically, tongue-in-cheek. Conditioning is believing what we're meant to believe, but not necessarily meaning, me, not necessarily knowing the truth. And it's interesting that this came on the truth. So there could be some misconceptions. There could be some things. You know, there could also be, there could also be, there's, you know, there, there's a lot of narcissistic people in the world. So, you, you know, it might be that you're being told that, um, you know, you might be told, that, let's see, that this, this, which is actually purple, if it comes up that way, it's actually purple. You might be told, well, that's red. And you're going, no, that's purple. No, it's red. And, you know, and the other person gets all these other types of people saying, isn't that red? Oh, sure, that's red. You know, and you're all of a sudden you start to believe, well, like, well, okay, I doubt myself. I doubt myself. So this, I'm kind of feeling like this might be, you know, I don't know if you have that type of people in your life. I know that many people, we do have a lot of times those people. Trust yourself a little bit more so. Trust yourself. Now, conditioning, what the story is behind this card, is that the lion grew up with all the sheep and the lambs. The lion fights his nature all the time. The lion believes himself to be a sheep or a lamb, but yet he's a lion. So the truth has been actually kept from him. So it's interesting that that is on truth. That is on truth. Okay? Okay. Now, and too, with this morality too, maybe it's not even your rigidity. Maybe it's somebody that's trying to box you in. Oh, yeah, that just, that just popped in. Anyway, let's go on with this one. Ah, that one is reversed. That one's a, you know, two. It's like a one-one. But it's a two, um, and that one is inner voice. So when I talk about trusting yourself, you do have, you know, you do have that, you know, that psychic, that connection, that, you know, that intuitiveness. You need to start trusting yourself more with this. And that makes me feel more and more that this is coming from, you know, again, these three cards and this um, rigidity that maybe maybe you are wanting to play a little bit more and you're being told to get back to work. I don't know. I don't know. There, there's somebody out there that I feel like that scenario's there too. Listen to your voice. You do you best, okay? You know you best, my Pisces. You really, really do. Trust yourself a little more, okay? Okay. Let's go on. Those are interesting ones, especially as things started to pop up about these. I still feel, I still feel that this is very, very positive up here. I feel it's very positive, especially the world, especially the things that you're working for, you know, and maybe that's where you're getting your pleasure from. Maybe that's where you're getting your validation from, because if there's somebody in, in your, your private world not validating you, that can be very harsh. That can be very harsh. So you do you, but at the same time, that knight of earth and that queen of earth and the world, good stuff there. Anyway, let's go on. We're going to finish the three cards with these. One, two, and three. Not reversed. Here we go. King of Raphael. Now, Raphael is your energy. It is also Cancer. It's also Scorpio. It's fluid. It's emotional. Now, kings, their underlying energy, remember all the, they have all the underlying, is air, wisdom, smarts. But this is emotional. So this person feels deeply, but yet knows. So this is, again, when I talk about trusting yourself, this is about, again, kind of giving giving um, credence to this. This is saying, yes, it is safe to trust you, okay? You, you make good decisions. 
watch out that you don't go into those darker places. A lot of that happens because of, you know, again, I get that narcissistic energy around you um, or some of you here. You need to remember to keep yourself, to know that you know what you know, okay? Okay, I, does that make sense? I hope it does, because it's, it's a lovely card for you. You're, you know, you have a, you know, now be kind, always be kind, um, but at the same time, trust you. Okay, warm, generous, honorable, refined. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. And there's a lot of creativity with these two cards up here. A lot of creativity in what you are. Actually, this is like what you're creating. So, next card. Knight of Ariel. The Knight of Ariel is the same as the Knight of Earth. You're going after what you want. You're getting your job done. You're working. There's going to be a lot of, again, I do feel that the self-esteem will rise with this. Now, one of the things you might look at is, you know, and it's good, yes, working does bring your self-esteem up. My question is, you know, was there, is there somebody that maybe is kind of poking holes in that a little bit? Just putting that out there. Anyway, Knight of Ariel is trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. And like I said, this is the same as the Knight of Earth. Okay, your last card with this deck here, the King of Ariel. Now, so you have the Knight, the Queen, and now you have the King of Ariel. This is all about your career, all about your job. Again, watch out for the people that try to poke, your hole, poke holes in you. Um, the thing too is my Pisces is you are good workers. You are really good workers when you, and you are very smart and clever workers too. So when I talk about, you know, these here, you know, there can be, you know, I, and again, I don't know if this is necessarily personal, you know, into that personal intimate, or if that's, you know, you, you always have to be a little bit careful about the people. We, you know, you may go in thinking, no, we're all a team. We're all working together. We're doing what we need to do. It doesn't mean that everybody is, you know, what is it? Everybody's rowing the same way on your boat. Okay. Anyway, the king of Ariel, again, he has that underlying of energy of air, but this is, again, work energy. And this is successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well, professional and financial success, using resources wisely. So there is, again, you put, you, you know, you're working to put your money away, you're work, you're getting, you're getting ahead. Um, you know, if you're not working, get those resumes out because it's going to be, they're going to want you. Um, you know, but if you, you know, but you're, you know, again, you're getting ready, you want to make your house, you want to buy your house, you want to purchase your property, you want to get things going, moving. Okay. The world, Archangel Michael. Now, so yeah, this is, just be careful. You know, I know, I know. I, I feel like I'm always like, here, you know, is, am I, is the glass half full or half empty? But I think my Pisces, you understand me on that one because it can be both. It can be both. While it's half full and it looks wonderful on that, there's always, there's always people that want to poke holes or they want to, they want to burst bubbles, don't they? But have a little fun too this this month, okay? Because this is wrapping up a lot of stuff for you and your season will start next month then. So let's see what stone, crystal, or energy may be of help or be of use to my Pisces. Here we go. Tiger's eye. Okay, that comes up. I do have tiger's eye. Yes, I do right here. There, pretty. It's polished. And okay, very much what we were talking about. Luck in new ventures, willpower, creative flow, overcoming fear. And that's, you know, that, that's, yeah, we talk a little bit about that. Anyway, wow, good stuff, good stuff. I really do like this for you. Again, you know, just, just be aware. If you're aware, you can counter their moves, okay? Because this looks like, this looks like money in the pocket. So, my Pisces. Okay, this is the time. Go ahead, like, share, subscribe. It's all good. We can, I'll wait a moment. Well, more importantly, my Pisces, as always, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.